What's up guys? It is Friday. It's the last day of steward school. Kayla is fixing to drop me off at the hotel here in Tulsa. That's where they have, they got a big ballroom here at the hotel that they have everything in. I think more or less because it's more space to, uh, for all the people or whatever. They don't, they don't have the room at the training center there um, at the hole, but, or something, I don't know. But anyway, that's why it's here and uh, the only thing about steward school is sometimes your spouses or whatever, the people that aren't members can't go in the, uh, some parts of the meeting. So Kayla's dropped me off this morning and then uh, this afternoon they're having a uh, slick rig contest today. And uh, Miller's having a crawfish bowl today. So I'm gonna go in here this morning and uh, sit in the meeting and visit with people and Kayla's gonna do a little work this morning probably, right? Yeah. And then uh, she'll come back and get me about 11 and then we'll head over to the uh, training center, so. And get ready, so then get ready this morning. Yeah, gotta, gotta get ready, Kayla's gotta get ready. Um, and it's been good this week, I don't know, I don't know if it's good living close or not, because we're only an hour away from Tulsa, so it's like, it's nice coming up here, but a lot of the nights kind of, you know, get to, if you get to visiting or whatever, or like uh, last night they had a retiree banquet, I didn't stay for it, but it can be some late nights, and like when you're close to home, you don't want to do nothing but go back home, right? So, um, it would be kind of nice to stay here, or stay at, you know, wherever, just in Tulsa, because then you can kind of make like a week of it, you know, I, so I don't know if it's better or not, but still enjoyable. I've had a good time so far, and I'm looking forward to this slick rig contest. Yeah, let's go in here to this meeting, and we'll see y'all here in a little bit. We are here at the training center now to catch you guys up. We've been here, we've already ate our crawfish and everything. We just, I didn't introduce this part, so I'm introducing it now. Now we're just hanging out and uh, socializing, uh, seeing people we haven't seen in a while. And I'm out of the truck getting some coffee. Some coffee. It's right here. Coffee. Guys, uh, use the middle lane to turn left <laughs> onto East 61st Street. <laughs> I'm laughing because.
because I got my I've got my garment on because there was some construction work or something we were trying to get around back there leaving the training center there and uh, <laughs> I've got my usually I don't have my volume on my on my Garmin because I don't like hearing Garmin talking to me or that, that girl talking to me it's annoying right and that's the way I've been for years and that's the way Kayla is. She don't like, she don't need the words. She just look at the Garmin and listen to where it tells you to go. But here recently I've had it on because it's hard for me to multitask. So whenever I'm trying to vlog and stuff, which I try not to do while I'm driving, but clearly I do, you guys know that. But uh, whether it's vlogging or whether it's uh, talking on the phone or, or uh, thinking about different things, cause you know, I'm all the time thinking of different video ideas and stuff. So like, I've had it on here lately, that way I don't get lost because I missed my turn the other day running around up here in Tulsa, so I turned it on so I could hear it. And now that me and Kayla are in the same vehicle, <laughs> she's giving me a hard time because I got the Garmin talking. She's like, it's driving her nuts. She about come unraveled on me a second ago, but do you all, do you prefer Garmin to talk to you or the GPS, the GPS to talk to you or do you prefer no volume? Let us know in the comments. But anyway, we're headed back to the uh, hotel that now. That was because you were also echoing the radio instead of singing along. Oh yeah, I was, wasn't I? I was singing on the radio. I was, I was echoing the what Garmin was telling us to do and where to turn and uh, everything. So, but yeah, we enjoyed ourselves there at the hall. Had some crawfish. They uh, crawfish is hard to eat. I've only had it like one other time, but it's hard to eat. It's a big old, big old, uh, you know, crawfish for a little bit of meat you get out of it hard to eat but but it was good it was good they had some shrimp too which was good um but yeah we've done all that uh visited with a lot of people and now we're headed back to the uh hotel they don't ain't gonna we got to kill a couple hours here but um that's where we're going we're headed back to the hotel and uh go from there got the meeting tonight at seven o'clock gonna find out whether i win a i got one ticket for the cross country lincoln has a has a drawing they draw for a for a for a uh, weld machine and then Miller draws for a weld machine and they, they draw tonight at the membership meeting. So uh, find out that tonight and who won the rig, the slick rig contest. So we'll find all that out tonight. And then, uh, yeah, Stewart's, Stewart School will be over with. Practically is over with now, I guess, but been a good time. Um, very eventful, I, I've enjoyed it. But anyway, we'll catch y'all here in a little bit. Are we gonna go do anything or? I don't know. I don't know what we're going to hear, but... We are, but I don't know what we're going to do. We might... Like I said, we've got a couple hours to kill, so we might go do I mean, something. Do you want to go shopping? I mean, I don't really need to go shopping, but... We can. Well, I guess we go, we'll go in here and socialize. We can roll, run around Target the way or something. I see it, you, we have two options. One is way cheaper than the other. Yeah. And it's probably going to be way more expensive. Yeah, let's go visit. Let's go visit. It's cheaper. <laughs> There's plenty of coffee at the... Uh, yeah, is there other drinks there, by the way? Yeah, yeah, they got other drinks. But there's plenty of coffee at the hotel. Here at the training center, they didn't have... They had some, but Austin's not... Having, like, draws. Not plenty. I had to come out to my truck and get my own coffee. Always got coffee on hand. Make a fresh pot every morning. All day, every day. All day, every day. Every day. So anyway, we'll catch y'all in a little bit if we do anything. It is now a couple days later, but I wanted to go ahead and end this video. We got home really late that night, like way too late. Stayed there way too long, but it was totally worth it. We got to visiting with a couple of people that we met, and Kayla and I both love chatting people in a deeper conversation. More than just surface level stuff, you know, especially when it comes to like uh, this pipeline lifestyle, you know, because it changes people's lives. But anyway, we enjoyed it. I enjoyed steward school this year. I'm glad I got to go. Thank you guys for coming along with us today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 
If you are interested in more of the slick rig contest, I will be putting a video up on my channel tomorrow of more footage of the uh, trucks that were there. Today was just kind of a sneak peek, kind of get you motivated, and it was just part of our day. You know, it wasn't the only thing that went on, but tomorrow, specifically to my channel, I will post the slick rig video that I put together. So go check that out tomorrow on my channel, Austin Ross. And like I said, thank you for coming along with us. We love you. Be grateful. Work hard and have fun.